Welcome to day 22 of my A4 Advent calendar. In this series of videos I show you in 24 days how to program the A4 8-bit microcontrollers. And today I want to talk about a topic or about something which you're already using in a lot of previous videos but about what we haven't talked about yet. And these are the timers of the Atmega or A4 microcontrollers. So here is the datasheet and yeah, let's go maybe to the first page here. And here we can find the information that, every, that our Atmega 88 microcontroller has eight, two 8 bit timers and one 60 bit timer. And I already told you we have already been using these timers. So if we're calling the delay slash milliseconds function, for example, we are already using a timer, but we haven't noticed yet. And today I want to actually use a timer to write a program which will increment the um, value of the 7 segment display every 500 milliseconds. Okay, so let's take a look at the datasheet to the timer section and I will go straight down to the register descriptions. So here we have the um, timer counter 1 control register A. And here we won't use anything, but I will go about the bit fields quickly. So over these two bits, we could set the mode in which the timer is used. And here we could enable, um, or here we could make some options. So if we look here, it says it uses the output compare 1a, for example, and we can find this here in the pin description. So here we have output compare 1a here. And if we want to toggle these pins by the timers, we would have to write some values into these or these bit fields here. But we won't use this. But here the timer mode is um, important, because here we can set in which mode we want to use the timer. The normal mode is just the timer counts up, and we could use it for a PVM, which I will show you in a later video. And here this mode is important, because we want to use it today. This is the compare to counter mode. And this is the mode we want to use. Okay, the first two bits here are in the control register A, but this bit here we can find in the control register B, so this is the uh, bit number 3 here. Okay, so and what else does we have here? So the first three bits here are used to set a timer prescaler. So depending on the value we have um, a prescaler, the smallest prescaler is a 1, the biggest one is um, 1024, and the prescaler depends in which range you want to count. So I want to use 500 milliseconds and I have a 20 megahertz um, oscillator or clock, so I will use the 1024 prescaler here. And we can also use an external clock, but I won't use this. Okay, so what else do we have here? Here we have a register C, which I won't use. Here in this 60-bit register, we can see the value of the counter. So for timer 1, this is the 16-bit timer. We have a 16-bit register. For our two 8-bit timers, we just have an 8-bit register here. And here we can see the current counting of the timer, and we can reset the timer by writing a 0 to this register here. Then we have an output compare register 1a, so I will use the timer in output compare or compare to counter mode. And here the value of our counter will always be um, checked against the value which is written into this register. And on a match we will generate an interrupt and this will increment the counter of our seven segment display here. So into this register I have to write a value at which the timer was active for 500 milliseconds. And we have a second output compare register here too, so if you want to have two times or two timings, we could use the second one, but I will just use this one here. Okay, and the last important register we will need is this um, interrupt mask register. So I want to enable um, interrupt when this value in this re register here is reached and I can get this by enabling or by writing a 1 to bit 1 because bit 1 means um, timer counter 1 output compare match um, A match interrupt enable and this will enable the interrupt. 
Okay, but now let's talk a little bit about the value we have to write into this output compare register here. So therefore I will fire up Python to do some calculations. So we have a clock frequency of 20 MHz here on our App Mega microcontroller. And I will use a prescaler of 1024. So I will divide, so I will have a prescale clock, and this is our 20 MHz clock divided by our prescaler. So this clock runs at 19.5 kHz, and a period of this pre clock is one. Um, is this value here? So this is um, 51 microseconds. Okay, and now I want to know at which w counter value 500 milliseconds have passed. Therefore, I, what I have to do is I have to divide 500 milliseconds by our period of our pre-scaled clock and this will give us this value here so when the um, counter reach the number 9766 I will um, round it up here 500 milliseconds have passed and this is the value I have to write in the output compare register 1. Okay so with this knowledge let's write the code. So let me cd into my A4 advanced calendars folder and I will use this um, folder from our EEPROM here um, as a template for today. So let me copy at the EEPROM to 22, um, 22 timer and let me see into it. So in the readme I will change the target name to timer and then let's go into the main function or main file here. So the first thing I will need is I have to include interrupt.h because we want to use interrupts. Then I will declare the counter variable here as a volatile uint8t variable. Then here this is the correct but I will delete everything from. So here is the setup for a button which I don't need in this example so I will delete it. We don't need reads from EEPROM, so I will delete this too. So here I can delete everything too. Well, this is just the setting of the segment values and I have to, will keep this. Okay, so first let's um, set the prescaler and set the counter mode. So I will write to timer counter 1 control register 1b and I will write a 1 shifted by CS12 or a 1 shifted by CS10 to enable um, or to set the prescaler and I will write a 1 shifted by WGM12 to set the timer to um, compare to counter mode. Then the next thing I will do is I will set the output compare register 1a to 9766, which are our um, 50 milliseconds. And then I will have to write to the interrupt mouse register and I have to enable the interrupt on output compare, interrupt enable for output compare um, register 1. Okay, and then I will have to en globally enable interrupts. And up here I will declare an interrupt service routine. So we are using timer1 here. So the interrupt vector is timer1 comp a vector. And all I will do here is I will increase the counter variable and then I will set the counter back to zero. So I will clear the counter and will count up again. Okay, so now let me try to build this program. Okay, here I have a typo. Now it's looking good, so let me try to flash the program. Um, Timer.txt. Let me give it my password. Okay, yeah, and now we have an up-running counter 
or we are updating the seven segment value every 500 milliseconds by a timer interrupt. Okay, that's cool. So that's how to use a timer with A4 or APIC microcontrollers. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. And I also hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye.